Happy birthday, mom. We love you so much. You're one of a kind. I hope you enjoy the video. Happy 60th birthday, mom. Hope it's the best one yet. Love you. Party on. Mom, you're our biggest fans. Uh, Kevy, Brenda, and I can't appreciate that more. Uh, not only are you our mother, but you really, truly are our friend. I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for me. And uh, you're very nice, and I love you for everything you've done. And here's to 60 more years of saying, Brendan, can you take out the garbage? <laughs> I love you so for so many reasons. You gave me the best back scratches. You never tell me no. You're the first person that gave me that diet to cooking chocolate. Um, you'll tell us like it is, whether we want to listen to it or not. We might get mad at you, but you know, it really does settle in. All right, do I have to do this? Hold on, let me go to the bathroom first. <laughs> Whatever I am today, I own it to you. No matter how hard I try, no matter what I do, I will never be able to show you how much I appreci appreciate everything you have done for me. Um, I first want to start off by just saying thank you for being such an incredible mother-in-law. And I've always considered myself to be extremely fortunate and blessed because not only did you and your family welcome me with open arms, but I feel that I am completely loved and accepted and just one of your kids. I don't think of you as a mother-in-law, I think of you more as a mother. Um, there's a lot of incredible parts of your personality and things that you do as far as like your generosity. You would give the shirt off your back to anybody. Um, I know if I never need anything, all I have to do is text or call you and you would do it in a heartbeat. You love my children with every part of your body. For treating me like one of your kids, for giving me an incredible husband and raising him to be an incredible father and man. Say, I love you, Granny. We are you, Danny. I do. Say, Granny's number one. And mine. Say, I love you. I love you. Granny. Daddy. Say, love you, Nee. Love you, Nee. Daddy. Say, happy birthday, Nee. Happy nee. birthday. Say, happy birthday. You may have your flaws, but for me, you always be perfect. At work, when people find out I'm your daughter, they say, you're Nancy O'Malley's daughter? I automatically smile because I know it's going to be followed up with nothing but great compliments of how good of a person you are, how you've helped them out, how you're fun to work with, um, how real you are. And of course, how damn sexy I am, since I look like you. Um, I truly am proud to be your daughter. I am proud to be Nancy O'Malley's daughter. If I do say myself, and I think Kevy and Brendan would agree with me, you've raised three damn good children. And we owe it all to you. You made sure we looked people in the eyes when we were shaking their hands. Go up to them and say hello when you're at Dominic's, even when you don't want to. Um, and just be respectful towards elders and help everyone out. You've, uh, you're the one that made us like this. Happy 60th birthday, Mom. Happy 60th birthday, Nancy. Happy birthday, Nancy Nancy. We love you. We love you. We love you. Happy birthday. We're having a great day. Yeah. Happy birthday, Nance. Happy 60th birthday. Wish you many more. Oh, hi. What I wanted to tell you, you is happy 60th birth birthday. Wow, that's a lot of birthdays. Hey, Nancy, we just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. Thanks for always being an awesome aunt. Happy birthday. We love you. Happy birthday. I love you. Happy 60th birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday to you, baby. Happy birthday, Aunt Nancy. Love you. Happy birthday to my baby sister. Happy birthday, Andy Nancy. Happy birthday, Andy Fancy Pansy Nancy.
We love you. Brendan, what are you wearing today? Happy 60th birthday, Mom. Love ya. Anticipate! Anticipate! Tyrone thinks they're tight. You're just like your father! I work downtown. I know fashion. I'll protect you if you're telling the truth 100%. But if you're not, I will kill you. <laughs> A lioness protects her cubs. <laughs> At 23, I moved out of my mom's house. And still to this day, my mom thinks that I moved out because I didn't want to throw out the garbage anymore. Heather, you can't go to Lincoln Mall. After dark, it's shit. <laughs> so, I want you guys to know how hard life really is. <laughs> so, And those are just a few reasons why we love you and why you're the best mom, friend, granny, aunt, and sister ever. A lioness protects no, her No, you have to wait till... It, once you click it, it starts, no, it starts it recording. Who are you talking to? Double your wishes, double your pleasure, whatever. <laughs> so after college, I was flying out to New York to try, for, try out for the New York Jets. I was super nervous. Uh, so my mom and dad dropped me off at the airport and I don't think I said two words. I think I was even sweating. I felt that I was gonna vomit. I was super nervous. So they said their goodbyes and I was walking away full of nerves. I got about 10 feet away and mom said, Kevy, wait. So that moment I turned around thinking that she's gonna say, something to make me feel better. And she turned to me and said, Kevy, you got shit on your nose. <laughs> At that moment, <laughs> I, I, I'm snacking out of my nose. I, you have the best back scratches. You, look at me and say you have the best back scratches. Look at me and don't. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, you're not done yet. Come on.